Through a point not on a line, there is exactly one line parallel to the given line. This is known as the parallel postulate. Some mathematicians consider it to be a postulate, others don't. The question is, who's right? Let's go find out. Stop. If two things are parallel, if alternate interior angles are perpendicular, there's something else. I know there's something else. Uh, uh, the alternate interior, and there's the other thing. For the other thing, I don't. I'm sorry, I can't help you more than I am right now. But uh, good luck on your endeavors. I don't know what the hell that is. Yeah, is that the one where, like, alternate to your angles and stuff like that? Two lines! Together. No intersections. No nothing. No funny business. Two lines. I don't know anything about it. I, I don't know. But absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Nothing. <laughs> I know nothing. No, good not. I know absolutely squat about it. Uh, parallel posture. Parallel posture. Extremely important posture. Stating that in two lines that are like that are parallel. I know the parallel postulate says um, if you have a line and a point not on a line, then there exists exactly one line through that point parallel to the original line. But it's a little controversial uh, because not all mathematicians agree that that's a postulate, right? A postulate is something you assume to be true and not everybody actually believes that that is the nature of space and shape. So there's one branch of geometry that holds true to that idea and that's what you guys study. There's two other branches of geometry that say, well, there is no such thing as parallel lines. There's no line through that point parallel to the original line. That's a whole different body of geometry. And then there's a third body of geometry that says, well, there are infinite number of lines through that point parallel to that original line. And then you get a whole bunch of different things about geometry. And what's interesting is those three different geometries model the universe we live in in different places in different areas, right? So it's a little creepy. There's not just one geometry. So basically the parallel postulate is this idea that if you have one line, uh, just L, and then you have any given point P, there's only one line that can run through P that's parallel to L. And the problem with that is that no one wants to take it as a postulate because it's kind of complicated. Uh, so Euclid took it as a postulate and that's basically defines Euclidean geometry. My question to you is, why is it postulated? Why can't you prove that through a point not on a line, there is one and only one line parallel to a given line? Couldn't you prove it by assuming there's more than one and showing they're the same line? Try it. It can either be a postulate or it can be a theorem, depending on the way you set up your system, the way you start setting up the, the things that you're going to consider postulates. 
Now Euclid was very suspicious of this postulate and he tried to prove it, but he couldn't. Through the ages, many people tried to prove this postulate, including a man named Sakari. And eventually, what happened was two men, Riemann and Lobachevsky, were able to construct two completely consistent geometries, both of them contradicting the parallel postulate. Riemann said through a point external to a line, there were no parallel lines. On the other hand, Lobachevsky said through an external point, there are an infinite number of parallel lines, and they were each able to construct a consistent geometry. The surfaces they worked on were different. Riemann's surface was a sphere, and Lobachevsky's surface was shaped like this. And that, in a sense, if you want to put it this way, proved that that postulate could not be proved because it was possible to get consistent geometries denying that postulate in addition to Euclid's consistent geometry. How many legs does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? The world may never know. Another thing we may never know is if the parallel postulate is true or if it's false. I guess what we've learned today is that the world has more than one answer.